I wanted to share another plugin that I use with Octoprint called Bed Visualizer. This uses the touch probe, whether it's a BL touch or CR touch that's on your printer, to give you a visualization of how flat your bed is. So after I installed Bed Visualizer, I, I access it through this drop down menu right here. Just click on it and click Bed Visualizer and it'll take a few seconds for it to pop up here on the page because it does give you a 3D view of your bed. So this is from a mesh I took according to this uh, November 24th this year and yeah that was a couple weeks ago now and where it's green it's nice and relatively flat and where it's yellow and red and it's not as flat but with automatic bed leveling, your printer will compensate for that. So it looks like around the center where I do most of my printing, it's pretty good. But when you get out to the edges, which is where I don't do a lot of my printing, it gets kind of sketchy. Uh, so that, that's a Creality bed for you, I guess. It seems pretty consistent across you know, the other users who have talked about this. So what I'm going to do... I just uh, leveled my bed again after doing some maintenance on my printer. I'm going to update this mesh. And when I do that, the printer is going to go through and record. It's, I think it's going to take like 30 points of the bed or so and you know, tell me how flat the bed is. So we'll wait for this to do its job. and and come back to the report. One thing I forgot to mention is that as part of the bed leveling sequence, uh, I, I'm sorry, not bed leveling, the, the mesh visualization sequence is that the plugin will heat the bed up to 55 degrees Celsius. I can't recall if that's adjustable in the plugin options, but that's what my printer is doing right now. Personally, I don't think it's going to make a huge bit of difference because ideally the whole bed should be uh, heating uniformly. But then again, you know, it's a Creality bed. And there's I, I don't think it does actually heat uniformly. So I guess it, it's going to be more accurate like this after all. So once this heats up and runs its points, we'll check out the visualization and see how it turns out. So the, the bed visualizer finished checking points on the bed, and this is what it came back with. So let's take a look here. It actually looks like, um, you know, from my calibration, well, I haven't really calibrated it yet, but apparently the bed is now flatter than it was before I ran this again. So I leveled the bed, I made a repair to the gantry, you know, squaring that up, and you know, adjusted belt tension stuff, and ran this sequence, and it's looking pretty good to me. Now the levelness of your bed is also going to depend on the bed surface. Like, I, I have a form-fitting magnetic PEI bed that I got from TH3D Studio. And if, if you choose to get a magnetic PEI bed, you definitely need the magnet sticker that goes on the bed so it's form-fitting. Otherwise, when your bed heats, the, the magnetic bed, if it's just clipped to your bed instead of with a magnet, it will expand and it will throw off everything. You'll have a ton of adhesion issues. So if you get that, make sure you definitely get the magnet to go with it. So I'm happy with this. This is probably the flattest I've had it. Another thing I did is I also re-magnetized my BL touch because I think I was getting some inconsistent readings uh, from it with regards to levelness. So, so I, I think, yeah, this is the best it's looked for me in a while, I think. But most of the time, you know, automatic bed leveling will compensate for, for this stuff. Most of my printing occurs in this area here toward the middle of the bed. So out here, you know, you'll definitely, your printer will definitely compensate more with automatic bed leveling. But um, I'd say overall, it's probably not going to be very noticeable.
So that's that's how bed visualizer works. I I like it as it shows me, you know, what to expect with my prints and you know how how I'm doing, how my equipment is doing as far as bed leveling goes. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, post any questions you have in the comments and I may answer them in another video. And remember, Anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. So keep learning, keep designing, keep making, and be proud of your work.